At the end of this module, you will be able to understand what is meant by a tangent to a circle and its properties. You have learned in your earlier class that a circle is a set of all points in a plane which are at a constant distance from a fixed point. This fixed point is called the center of the circle. You have also learned various terms like radius, circumference, arc, sector, segment and chord of a circle. Suppose if we are given a line and a circle, then we get three cases. Case 1. The line and circle have no common point. Case 2. The line and circle have two common points. In such case, the line is called the second of the circle. Case 3. There is only one point which is common to the line and the circle. In this case, the line is called a tangent to the circle. A tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at only one point. The common point of the circle and tangent is called the point of contact. Let us do an activity to understand the presence of a tangent to a circle. Take a circular wire and a straight wire AB. Attach the straight wire to the point P of a circular wire such that AB can rotate about the point P in a plane. Now when we rotate AB about the point P, we get different positions of the wire as shown. We see that when we rotate the wire it meets the circle at the point P and also at the other points like C, D and E. At one position we notice that the wire intersects the circle only at the point P. That line becomes the tangent to the circle. This shows that the tangent exists at the point P of the circle. On rotating further we can observe that in all other positions of AB it will intersect the circle at P. So we can observe that there is only one tangent at the point of the circle. Draw a circle and a secant AB to a circle. Now let us draw lines parallel to this secant on either side of it. We see that the length of the cord cut by the lines decrease as we go further away from the secant. At one position, it becomes zero on either side of the secant. That line becomes the tangent to the circle. So, the lines A1, B1, A2, B2 are the tangents to the circle parallel to the secant AB. Hence, we can observe that there cannot be more than two tangents parallel to a given secant. So, a tangent is a secant when both endpoints of the corresponding chord coincide. Now you are seeing the wheel of a cart. We notice that the spokes of the wheel are along the radii. When we notice the position of the wheel regarding the movement on the ground, we find that it makes a line. That line is nothing but a tangent to the circle. We can also say that the radius makes an angle of 90 degrees with the tangent. Thus, we prove the following theorem. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Given a circle with center O and a tangent x, y to the circle at a point P. We need to prove OP is perpendicular to x, y. Proof. Let us take a point Q on x, y other than P and join OQ. 
We know that among all line segments joining the point O to a point XY, the shortest one is perpendicular to XY. So, to prove that OP is perpendicular to XY, it is sufficient to prove that OP is shorter than any other segment joining O to any point of XY. Let R be the point at which OQ meets the circle. Then, as OR and OP are the radii of the circle, they are equal. Now, OQ is equal to OR plus RQ. This implies that OQ is greater than OR, but OR is also equal to OP. So, OQ is greater than OP, that is OP less than OQ. Thus, OP is shorter than any other segment joining O to any point of XY. Hence, OP is perpendicular to XY. A tangent PQ at a point P of a circle of radius 5 cm meets a line through the center O at a point Q so that OQ equals to 13 cm. Find the length of PQ. Solution As the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact we have the line OP perpendicular to PQ. Now, in the right triangle OPQ, we apply Pythagoras theorem. So, we get OQ square equals to OP square plus PQ square. Given that OQ equals to 13 centimeters and OP equals to 5 centimeters, Substituting the values, we get 13 square equals to 5 square plus PQ square. Solving, we get PQ equals to 12 centimeters. In this lesson, you have learned, a tangent to a circle is a line that intersects the circle at only one point. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact.